Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Blackboard 9.1. Today we're going to take a look at the content menu, how you can set it up, and how you can edit it for your liking. Now the first thing you need to do is get into one of your courses and make sure that your edit mode is turned to on. With edit mode on, you'll be able to go ahead and manipulate your content menu. Now you'll notice a few things about the content menu right off the bat. That's the up and down arrows on the left hand side and the double drop down arrows on the right. The up and down arrows will give you the ability to reorder your list. Whereas the arrows on the right hand side when clicked will open up a context menu that will affect that specific link. So that's the basic functionality for items that are already on the list. Now there are different types of items on the list. One for example is this divider. It's basically just a line that divides different content menu items. Now there's other ones like the CSU Pueblo Library link, which is an external link to a website. So if I click it, it brings up the Colorado State University Pueblo Library website. Okay, the other types of links are content menu areas. So if I click on syllabus, it's going to bring up the syllabus content area. Same thing with course documents. Now course documents and syllabus are just kind of some generic names that are added within your course. So if you needed to add some more, maybe an assignments category or an essays category, whatever you dream up, you can go ahead and go up to the plus sign at the top of your content menu. Just by highlighting it, you'll see the different areas that you can access from within your course. So let's go ahead and put a create a content area on there. It's going to give me the option to name the content area. I'll go ahead and name it assignments. Now you can make it available to users right off the bat or just leave that unchecked, develop the area, and later turn it on so that students will be able to have access to assignments. I'm going to go ahead and leave available to users off. Once I hit submit, you'll see that your assignments is added to the bottom of the list. Now there's two icons to the right of this item. The first one is indicating that this link is hidden from students. The second is indicating that there is no content within our assignments area. So if I went and clicked assignments, there's not going to be anything that's posted in there. So if there's not anything posted in a content menu area, then it's not going to even show up when the students view it. For example, assignments and syllabus are gone from the list. I'll go ahead and turn my edit mode back on there. All right, so I can reorder my assignments into my list. If I was ready to turn it on, I can go to my drop down menu and click on show link. Another thing that you can add within your content menu is a direct tool link. Now you'll notice that there's a tools link already in your content menu. Now if I click on this tools link, you're going to see a whole lot of tools that can be accessed within Blackboard. Now depending on how you're running your course, you may not use all the tools, but they're at least available for students by using the tools link off to the left there. But let's say you wanted them to link directly into the send email area. Now you'll notice on the left hand side there's no direct link to send email, but we can add one. Clicking the plus sign and going to create tool link will give me a few options. First of all, we could say email link. And what type of link to what tool we'll select from the drop down. And if we want to make this link available for students, click Available to Users. Once you hit Submit, your email link will be added to your content menu. Go ahead and reorder it in the list. And now the email link will function to open the Send Email area. And this concludes this tutorial for Blackboard 9.1.